Hi everyone, it's me, Diana, the Doll Fairy, and today I have a very special unboxing to share with you once again. So I have a package here, and I'm um, just gonna show you what it says on the box. <laughs> yep, so this is from the Culture Japan store. So, if you're like me, and one of your hobbies includes obsessively refreshing the Smart Doll website over and over, to see if something new has released, either on a weekly, daily, or sometimes even hourly basis, you may have seen something special pop up on the website. It was a product called Only the Brave and did not tell you what you would be buying if you purchased it. So yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, right? I mean, who would do that? The thing is, there are some people who have such absurd faith in Danny Chu and in his products that they will jump at the opportunity to buy something that seems mysterious. <laughs> there are people who would do that. So, I'm really dying to see what's inside. So, if you're ready, let's do it. Oh, and Prowess is here to help us out with the unboxing today, and that's because I did also order a couple of things for her that are in this package. Scoot Prowess over. We have our keep calm and carry a smart doll and I ah, wrote thanks Diana, Danny Chu. I, I realized that um, even though I met Danny Chu twice, I never asked him to sign one of my smart doll bags, which is kind of funny. <laughs> now I have one that he signed, so I'm happy about that. You guys know how this is for me. I get very excited when I open things. Okay, here we go. Let's pull the bag out of the box. Not gonna look yet. I'm very good at being patient, so I'm going to feel around and take the box out first and show you the accessories that I bought first. And if you're not as good at being patient, you can always skip ahead in the video. Okay, so I've got my nice smart doll box here. And ooh. Okay, all right. This is super exciting. Okay, so first of all, so here's here are my goodies. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, all right. Um, I got a larger bust. I have never gotten a larger bust before. And um, I really got this for prowess, um, which is why I decided to have her here. I wanna make clothing, so I figured it was kind of um, a, a helpful thing for me to have different bust sizes eventually. So I got the medium smooth, bust in cinnamon um, and Prowess will be trying that out. Um, okay, so this is exciting. I got a hand pack. I've never gotten hand packs either. I pretty much never got any accessories really um, besides a little bit of clothing. But uh, yeah, this is hand pack too. And um, I picked this one. Um, it has a curved hand like this that can hold things. So I thought that would be really useful for holding like, I don't know, lightsabers, keyblades, fun stuff like that. Just like the cute waving hand and yeah, so I'm very excited about that. And another thing that I got, I did want to get free shipping so I did get a few things. I got the Keep Calm and Carry a Smart Doll dog tag and um, it's just a really cute doll accessory but also I kind of um, it comes with a long enough cord that you could wear it as a necklace yourself. The little girl in me really likes the idea of like wearing an accessory that goes with my dolls. I, I don't know. So I thought this would be a really cool thing to have, both for my dolls and for myself. And the wig that I got is the long straight sunset wig, which I'm so excited about. I wonder what this means. I love the, the uh, the sunset color. I don't have any wigs in that color yet, so I'm very excited about that too. And I have the instruction card and stand, and the stand looks to me to be cinnamon, which is good 
really good because I got cinnamon accessories. Okay. Moment of truth. Okay. Can you see it? I don't know if the camera can focus so that you can see it. Ah! Okay. So, if you can see, it says envisage. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. I am not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. It's envisage. Um, but I really wanted her. And she's not released yet, so... Okay, I'm just really, really excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so she's in her bubble wrap, so you probably can't see her face too well yet. But I just, I just want to appreciate this moment. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen I posted a couple of times in my story about how much I loved this doll and how pretty I think she is and wow I'm not disappointed get her out of the plastic oh my gosh so the thing about this doll's face I, I don't know what it is. It's just so, so pretty to me. It's like, it's like her face is the perfect medium between like the happy, sweet looking dolls with the really large eyes and also the more elegant, more narrow eyed dolls like Kizuna, which I have long admired Kizuna. I do not have Kizuna, but I think she's one of the most beautiful smart dolls. Um, but it's like Envisage has both of those in her face. Like, she has that sweet sincerity to her smile and her maybe her eyebrows and the shape of her eyes, but at the same time, she also has that almost coy look as well with, like, that kind of slant to her eyes. And wow. Even without her wig on, I'm just stunned with how pretty she is. I just can't get over that I got this doll. I'm just beyond, beyond, please. Okay, let's try to put her wig on. So she has the long, straight sunset wig. So Culture Japan wigs come in these really nice little bags. They're like packaged really nicely. Okay, there we go. A beautiful color. Alright, I'm taking off the net. I'm telling you, everything that comes from Culture Japan is just the highest quality. It's just it's just amazing, honestly. Okay, so got her wig all ready. The tissue paper is taken out. And let's see if I can get the wig on. I'm not sure if her part is supposed to be in the middle or a little bit to the side, but I guess we'll see what looks good. Okay, I struggled a little bit, but I got it on. I'm just going to get a toothbrush to sort of smooth it out a little bit because I messed it up. So, um, I, I did buy that bust with prowess in mind, but of course they can share since she's cinnamon and, um, I figured it might be fun to try on the bust, um, on her 
and we'll try some of the hands too because I have never tried different hands. I've never swapped hands before so that should be interesting too. So I'm gonna move the camera and let's do that. Let's try the bust on her. So remove her head by twisting and pulling carefully. Okay, not too difficult. And her arms. So you hold onto the shoulder and gently pull the arms out. Okay. And I'm gonna keep the bra on and just pull off the bust. Very simple, there's the spine. All smart dolls have orange spines. Okay, and let's try out the medium smooth bust. Let's see how that looks. So here's the two, here are the two side by sides. So you can see the difference. That's the default bust and that's the medium smooth. So, I just imagine that it'll look like a lot of shirts will look different, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna pull the bra back on. I think it should still fit. Yeah, yeah, it still fits. It just looks a little different. <laughs> there we go. And let's try some different hands. I've never removed the hands before. Um, I think you need to hold on to the, um, like the ball joint, I guess this is, and then you pull off the hand. Ah, okay, that wasn't too difficult. And now you have this little tab where you can put a new hand on. So here is hand pack number two in cinnamon. funny to see a bunch of hands okay so we have these hands that are kind of like um i don't know like or they could be like cupped like this like they're holding something um so there's those and these are the hands that can hold something i my immediate thought was holding a lightsaber <laughs> i'm pretty sure that i can find some kind of smart doll sized lightsaber. And these are um, hands with the, the fingers, you know, spread out. Sorry, my band-aid is ugly, I know. And then these with the hand, oops. The hand is like in this cute little, a cute little wave, sort of a hesitant wave. Or maybe even slapping somebody across the face. <laughs> I'm going to try this one so that she can do a cute little wave. Oh wow, that goes on really easily. You just slip it right on. Okay, and there's the cute little, cute little wave. And now there she is. One more thing to take a closer look at is our dog tag. So open it up. Okay, so. Let's take a look at it. The cord is a really nice material. It's a little bit different than I imagined it. Like it's not as stiff, which is really good because um, if it was too stiff, it wouldn't sit right when you hang it around your doll's neck, you know? I would rather not remove her head again right now, but just so you can get the idea. There it is. She is so pretty. So I can't even explain how happy I am that I got Envisage. I'm just so in love with the combination of her beautiful sunset orange hair and her aqua eyes but most of all i just love the shape of her eyes and her eye makeup and i feel like envisage is just my perfect 
the perfect amount of elegance and sincerity in her expression. I'm just so happy to have her. Sometimes it pays off to be brave. <laughs> I hope you had a lot of fun unboxing my new smart doll with me. Um, I want to say a big thank you to my patrons who make all of this doll magic possible. If you're interested in becoming a patron, you can check out the link in the description below. I would also like to say thank you to Danny Chu for making such beautiful dolls and for signing the bag for me too. I'd also like to remind you that the Doll Fairy now has an official shop with apparel, accessories, charms, stickers, and lots of cool stuff for sale. I designed all of the merch on thedollfairy.com, so head over to check it out and sign up for the email list to find out the inside scoop about upcoming sales and events. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon for more doll magic. Bye!